Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. Let's take a look at the cryptocurrency space. And some of us are still new to this space. But of course, we know that Bitcoin has been on fire over the last couple of months. In fact, going into the beginning of this year, the stock has had a major run. This is the monthly. If we take a look, we'll notice that today, let me zoom in here on the daily chart, you'll notice that there's a daily breakout. So right now we are looking at a fresh daily breakout. Even though we know that the stock is extended, seems to be a daily breakout right there, which means that there's still momentum in the, in the space. Now, so we can see that that is a continuation of the previous move. And one way you can take advantage of this breakout, now this is Bitcoin versus the dollar. Now for those of you who are new to this space, it's very confusing at first. Your initial reaction is to suspect that there's only one way to play this market, which is to own Bitcoin. But I'll show you in a second that this, there are so many currencies that are in the blockchain technology space. So to take a look at Bitcoin has another instrument called Bitcoin Cash. So here I'm, I'm using TradingView. As you can see, I am on TradingView. And I have to say, TradingView has done a great job of bringing the charts to technicians as far as the cryptocurrency space is concerned. And I highly recommend you check them out. I mean, honestly, it's an honest plug. I was looking around for charts that one could use to understand what was going on in the cryptocurrency space. And TradingView is doing a great, great job. So I recommend you take a look at that platform for how to follow these cryptocurrencies. Now, okay, so go back to what I was saying previously. So just be warned, there are so many cryptocurrencies. Bitcoins happens to be the face of the cryptocurrency space. But as an example, there is another cryptocurrency that tracks Bitcoin itself, and it is called Bitcoin Cash. And so if you take a look at Bitcoin Cash, and remember, there's also another confusing aspect. You're going to find that there are so many currencies to choose from in terms of the cryptocurrencies, and there are so many brokers to choose from. For example, here, you'll see that towards the left of this window, there is a list of potential brokers. So here, you can see right here where my cursor is. All these are brokers that are offering cryptocurrencies. So if we go to the Bitcoin Cash, and I'm going to use the Polon Pol Poloniex, I believe that's how you say it, Poloniex Exchange, you'll notice that there is a cryptocurrency here, Bitcoin Cash, that is breaking out on the daily. And so you can use, in fact, let me take a look, probably, let me change something here. All right, so again, we are taking a look at the space here and we are using the Poloniex exchange to track Bitcoin Cash. Now you'll see that for today, it is breaking out above the recent daily closing high and the recent daily closing high on the Poloniex exchange. Now I have to explain here, you'll notice there are so many exchanges offering the same coins, but there tends to be a discrepancy in terms of the price. For example, here you can see Poloniex is showing that a couple of days ago the stock closed or the, or the currency closed at 6.27.57. So the buy point here is a breakout above 6.27.527, which goes back to this daily closing high is the breakout level. Right now, if you take a look at the stock, it or the currency, it is trading at 640. So it is definitely breaking out. So for those who don't want to chase Bitcoin itself, you can take a look at owning the Bitcoin cash versus the dollar, which is breaking out today, breaking out above 627.527. Now, <laughs> keep in mind your broker, if you're trading in the US, the usual brokers, you know, the Ameritrades, E-Trades, Score Trades, they don't offer this. So this is for those who have already 
set their accounts already opened accounts with some of these cryptocurrency exchanges again you're not going to find this offered by your regular broker here in the u.s you're going to have to go and find some of these new emerging brokers that are offering access to the cryptocurrency space so again the idea here is to own bitcoin cash as long as it is trading above the buy point of 627.527 as long as it is holding above that price it is breaking out could have a chance of a spike now i want to show you something else so here i am on the poloniex website and i'm taking a look at the monero now monero is another cryptocurrency but i want to show you how many currencies there are available for trading so if you come to the left side of the page i want to show you how confusing this is for those who have not been following the space so let me get this right all right so here here we have it so what you have here is the space and we have the cryptocurrencies so here they are they are live trading keep in mind they trade 24 hours a day so they trade 24 hours a day around the clock so another layer of confusion for those of us who don't trade futures that closely so these are some of the of the cryptocurrencies that are being offered so there's bitcoin of course there's ethereum now number one in terms of market cap is bitcoin the second one in terms of market cap is ethereum and the third one in terms of market cap is litecoin and there are many others ethereum has another cryptocurrency called ethereum classic and then of course we have monero we have dash you have stellar you have so many you got ripple you got zcash but let me show you what we are dealing with here there's a longer list take a look at all these cryptocurrencies all these are different cryptocurrencies that are being offered in the marketplace so even though at first you might think that there's only one currency which is bitcoin in the cryptocurrency space actually there are so many and new offerings are coming up pretty much every week every month and so get used to the term i c o which stands for initial coin offering so there's a lot of ICOs being offered. In other words, new coins are coming in the market pretty much at light speed. So all these are some of the coins that are being offered right now, even though we know that the most traded cryptocurrencies right now are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ripple, also Ethereum Classic, and there are many others but these are some of the major ones in terms of market capitalization and here we have an example of the volume that some of these currencies are seeing so whether cryptocurrency trading is here to stay or not it doesn't matter but what i'm trying to show you here is that there could be an opportunity and more importantly if the cryptocurrency space is here to stay then we need to start being more familiar with the trading platforms and how we can track some of these emerging market opportunities. And this is an opportunity that is going to be across the globe. It doesn't matter whether you trade in another part of the globe outside the US. If the cryptocurrency space is for real, then it's going to be giving investors worldwide an opportunity. So it only makes sense for all of us trading the markets worldwide to become more and more familiar with these instruments so again in this video the idea here is to take a look at the breakout that is currently taking place for bitcoin cash and i am using the poloniex exchange and what we see here is a breakout above 627.527 as long as it is breaking out this is a momentum candidate in the cryptocurrency space that might see higher prices if it breaks back in other words if the breakout fails by moving back below our buy point in other words if it drops back below this price you want to get out of that trade but as long as it is breaking out then the idea here is that there could be more upside right now trading at 638.61 oh by the way <laughs> i almost forgot 
So if you're trading in the US and you, you don't have an account with some of this cryptocurrency space, if you don't have an account, you haven't opened an account, you don't wanna open an account for whatever reason, there are at least three opportunities or three ideas in terms of stocks that you can buy in the US. There are some three stocks that I am familiar with that you can you can buy and that we've been playing three stocks that are trading in the public markets that you can track and play if you don't want to be involved with opening an account in the emerging cryptocurrency exchanges you can still use your current broker your Ameritrades, E-Trades, Score Trades and um, Trading King and all those types of um, traders or also on Robinhood your regular trader is going to have three stocks you can access if you want to play this cryptocurrency current explosion. And of course, we have to be careful because as we've seen, this is a market that has really exploded. And of course, at some point, it's going to pull back. As you can see here, yes, it is a daily, a fresh daily breakout for Bitcoin. And of course, the Bitcoin is the face of the cryptocurrency space. So that's the daily breakout taking place right now. But you got to be careful here. This has really come a long ways. If you take a look at the long term monthly chart, you can appreciate the big move over the last couple of months. So we're talking about trading at about 295 sometime in 2015. So 295 here. 295 approximately in 2015 now trading at 7488 in 2017 so we have to be careful here because we are coming into this a little bit late after this move has already taken place so let's be careful here but I'm giving you an opportunity a potential opportunity as long as we see the breakout taking place for the Bitcoin Cash, which I mentioned previously. So back to the Bitcoin Cash, one more look at this. I made a mistake of not showing you the, the indicators. So this is the monthly chart. And because the monthly chart does not have new data, this was a recent ICO or initial coin offering. It's been trading one, two, three. This is the fourth month of trading. And because of that, we don't have fully developed RSI or fully developed MACDs. So we can't use the monthly chart for entry. If we take a look at the weekly chart, we can see the weekly chart does not have a fully developed RSI. So we can't use that. You can't use the RSI. So we have to go to the daily. This is why I'm using the daily because it's a, an ICO or let's call it an IPO in the cryptocurrency space and what you see here is so now we have to use the daily and on the daily here as far as the technical parameters are concerned we can see that the RSI is trading close to 80.74 so the RSI is fine it's above 69.1 and we can see that one of the MACDs is trading at all-time highs and this is how we time some of these high-flying names. So for an IPO you have to go to the time frame that is fully developed and here the technical parameters meet the minimum requirement are the MACD at new highs and your RSI at 69.1 and above as long as it stays above 6.67 627 as long as it stays above this price this is still a breakout candidate now for those of you who want ideas that you can take action you can join my website it's going to be a paid subscription to mother.com and i have some ideas that we've been playing in terms of the cryptocurrency space if you want to use your regular brokerage account eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and Blessings, yeah. E, a C, S, mwah. Woo, yeah.